Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today I hope to give you a few tips and tricks and hacks and all the other little bits of advice on how best to record your video for YouTube or just general recording uses. One thing that many people forget about is the use of their phone. It's it's such an obvious gadget that so people so many people overlook and so many YouTubers and content creators are using nowadays. And it's just a brilliant tool. Now you can use it to do voiceovers or you can film and record on the go or you can just use it like a dictaphone. And once you've used that footage and it's edited to make sure it's posted and all the rest of it, then you can delete it. So you don't have to worry about space too much. So it's just a brilliant tool to think about. If you're doing like proper filming or video blogging or making tips or tutorials and stuff like that, something you could think about is obviously you could use the eternal microphone on your camera or point and shoot camera or phone. But personally, I would use an external um, microphone, definitely. Now what I what I use um, is just a little mini shotgun mic it only costs about 10 15 quid off the internet it's just a brilliant gadget to have so useful now obviously you can get bigger ones more powerful ones and obviously um being brutally honest the more you spend i wouldn't personally spend any more than sort of 30 50 quid but you can get one of these for about a tenner and i would say it does produce quite nice sound and i would say having that external microphone gives you much clearer sound which is really handy to know. A quick note, if you're filming outside, it's a massive, massive, massive must to have an external microphone because you don't even use the internal microphone on your camera or point and shoot camera or phone. You will get the annoying wind sound that just comes in and ruins your guess, comes in and just ruins your video and you don't want that because it just makes editing such a ball ache. <laughs> now I know the horror. Now you can get wireless ones as well, but another thing I'd recommend if you want even higher quality sound, um, seeing I use, I, I personally don't just because it takes ages, is, <laughs> is one of these little clip-on mics. You've probably seen them, you know, when you're watching the news and stuff like that, and it basically just clips on here and it goes, you know, straight into your um, uh, camera or point and shoot camera. Um, make sure your camera's got a mic jack before you buy one or get a camera with a mic jack, because um, I've made that mistake. But it's just brilliant and it gives a really good uh, high quality sound and if you've seen some of my previous videos you've probably seen the difference in the sound quality and it is something I should use more. Something else I've done actually with this is a little, little tip for you. I've actually had a second tripod sometimes and I will fit this sort of out of shot, sort of out over here sort of thing and it just gives that higher quality of sound and, but it's out of shot so you don't know it's there and it's just, you know, makes your audio experience much more enjoyable for your viewers and for you guys. And the most important thing I would definitely say is definitely, definitely, definitely audio comes above video or lighting because if you've got poor sound, people instantly just like, nah, not listening to that. Now, if you um, want to record um, sound effects or maybe background noise or maybe get a close-up of a, maybe you're doing like a little transition of shots and you want like a, a closer sound, you could use um, a, a Zoom mic or a dictaphone or perhaps even your phone and you could use one of these to record a close-up of the sound which will give a much crisper and what you could do is you could record your normal video and then sort of um, delete the original audio footage which I've, I've done before, record a closer version of the same sound and that will give a much clearer Chris sound that will bring in your audience. It's just a little tip that I've used occasionally and the effects are brilliant. You've probably seen it in much more professional videos and it's just an easy little thing to do. Now if you're a gamer or someone that um, records sort of gaming footage and um, stuff like that of a console or PC, I would highly recommend um, you may be able to record the sound, get a, a decent microphone, um, basically the more expensive one you can possibly afford, if I'm honest, and um, just to give a crisper sound. So if you're doing voiceovers on games or gameplay and that sort of thing, just a useful little tip. Or the other thing you could do is you, you could use an external microphone or your camera or your phone, and you could record the voiceover that way and just have it playing. And what you could do actually, as you're playing the game, you could have that set up near you, say a dictaphone or your camera, that could record your recording and then when you put it in post, you could literally just delete the unnecessary footage or maybe put the gaming sound a bit lower and then you could just literally just uh, connect the dots sort of thing and you could put the audio underneath and that will just give a really nice crisper voiceovers in your gameplay. When using one of those clip-on mics, just make sure that it's nice and loose 
and it's you haven't got any necklaces on that sort of thing because uh, something that I've done in the past is if you were calling audio and you're talking you're a bit like me and you're a bit all, all over the place sometimes it will sort of rattle or make little click noises and that's really annoying and really hard to get rid of in post without you know higher quality software and it just makes it easier for yourself if you've just thought about that before you recorded which makes audio easier in the long run and setting up your external microphone if you're doing like uh, proper videos or uh, video login and that sort of thing I would get the microphone, get your external microphone, whatever one you've got, if it's a bigger one or smaller shotgun mic, and just position it, uh, if possible, um, on a, um, a second tripod, and sort of connect it sort of as close to the face as possible like this, but out of shot. So you want it maybe sort of underneath, see, see like that, I'm just looking on the frame now, just underneath the frame, so you've, you'll get a higher quality sound, and the benefits are massive. and and. But don't have it too close, because if you have it too close, it might get a little bit like But if you just have it a bit further away, it just gives that crisp and nicer sound. Just a little tip, and literally all the content creators out there are using this um, setup, so it's a great thing to bear in mind. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch this video. If you've watched it as it was posted, thank you. If you watch it later or a few weeks later, whenever, thank you so much. Um, feel free, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a like and feel free to comment below what other filmmaking tips you would like to see here on the channel. If you've got any uh, questions, feel free to ask them below or inbox me or whatever. I'm, I'm always excited and, and eager to hear your, your queries and uh, get a bit of commentary on that. It's really nice to see. So thank you again. Thank you for supporting the channel. Keep watching our videos. Look out for more. And don't forget, you guys rock!